面配。So this video is gonna be another possible weekly vlog. Not sure if I will be filming throughout the entire week, but we'll see how we go. I just finished my class Intro to Web, which is a coding class, and this week is going to be a little bit hectic because of all the work that I need to do. I have an assignment due on Thursday, which is my design thinking and process assignment, which is kind of like a journal task where I complete different activities in a visual journal. I'll show that later on in the video. And also on Sunday, I have a prototype website that is due, which is basically a creation of a website that I designed myself and I have to create it using coding. I'm not very confident with my coding skills, but we'll see how we go. That brings me to today's sponsor for this video, which is Zyro. They are a website builder, so I thought it was fitting to kind of implement this collaboration with them into this video because this week is going to be mainly me coding and making a website and just showing you other alternatives of how to make a website without coding because coding is very stressful and it makes me want to pull my hair out so yeah later on in the video maybe towards like the end of the week or sometime this week when I have time I'll talk more about what Zyro does and what features they have on their website so it makes making websites more easier than having to know all the coding and design skills and all of that so yeah thank you to Zyro for sponsoring this video for now it is Monday I think I'm gonna get something to eat now I'm a bit hungry. It is 12 p.m. So, yeah. gotten like half of this video done i just need to do the rest of it hopefully it won't take me too long oh in this video i talked about how we started my hero academia and that we were up to season two but we are up to date we gotta watch the movie movies you have to watch movies we're gonna start demon slayer soon I still can't get over my hero. I haven't vlogged in so long that so many things have happened. Like I got a new chair. Yeah, my cousin and my boyfriend got this chair for me. And I replaced my keyboard with a white one. I think white looks cleaner because I have like a white monitor and tower. I still have a black mouse and I do not have a mouse pad. Great. The task for today is to be productive again and I think I'm gonna spend the morning probably editing the rest of my video just adding text and then uploading it later on because I need a video to upload today and then I'm gonna go back to doing work because I didn't get to do a lot of that yesterday and hopefully I can just get it done right now I am eating breakfast so it's just yogurt under banana these crunchy healthy versions of cereal I guess I don't know what to call it they're like nut free and wheat free but they taste really good and also some strawberries I'm trying so hard to be like somewhat healthy or just try to cut down on a bit of like carbs and I'm just trying to eat healthier because not only do I want to maintain my weight but I know that I feel a bit sluggish when I eat a lot of unhealthy food like I end up feeling very sleepy and then I want to take a nap and then it's just not very 
healthy and nice so i'm trying my best to change that right now right now i'm probably just gonna eat while watching and then i'm gonna get back to work and we'll see what happens after that <laughs> just finished editing the video and it didn't take me that long but that's because I had to just shortcut my editing because what I was planning to do was do all like the hand written texts and everything that I usually do for some parts of my video but I didn't get to do that because I do not have my tablet pencil or pen i don't know where my tablet or drawing pad pen went so i can't really do handwritten stuff and even for my thumbnail i can't do that so i'm gonna have to just add text you know i personally like the handwritten look of it better but you know what can you do i don't have the pen and because it's been lost since like last night and i don't know where it is i've just been thinking about whether or not i should get like a new drawing tablet because it's pretty old and also if i should get an ipad instead but i feel like that's very extravagant and very big to consider because that is a very expensive product and do i really need it no when you think about it i have a phone a laptop and a desktop or a pc so i don't necessarily need it but a part of me is considering i don't know maybe later on but then again it's if i'm gonna splurge on a drawing tablet should i just consider an ipad because an ipad has multiple functions i mean that is literally the epitome of capitalism and just like these businesses they make you think like oh there are a lot of functions to an ipad that you could use and if you're going to spend a lot of money on a drawing tablet, you might as well spend it on an iPad because you can do the exact same thing on an iPad but you can do more things like watch videos and use social media and stuff like that. They are really getting to me. I don't think I'm going to get it anytime soon but I'm just like considering like because I really need to find a way to do the handwriting things because you know it's useful for school and also editing because I can do all these cool effects to make my videos a bit more better and personal there's a lot more character and all of that i don't know just a thought but i just wanted to bring that up but yeah i'm exporting the video now and i'm probably going to upload it quickly make a thumbnail today and i'm glad that i managed to get it done because i can upload today and then focus on school for the rest of the week changed my clothes because i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna take a break from doing my schoolwork. i'm gonna go to the gym and just pump out a quick workout because it's been a while since i've gone yeah that's pretty much all i'm gonna do for the rest of the day i look like a mess but i didn't get to film while i was in the gym because i was actually alone like my cousins didn't end up going and my friends didn't end up going so i just did a quick workout i uploaded the video and it premiered and i had a lot of fun replying to you guys yeah when i got home i just had a little bit of dinner and i ended up finishing some parts of my assignment so this is everything that i've done so far so i just need to make a mind map about eco design sustainability within fashion design and just write down any notes and ideas that come to mind so the parts that i did today was this whole section in the bottom from the blue to this blue i did a lot actually for the amount of time i spent on it like i did a lot but i do need to finish up these three other dot points that i've made and yeah i'm probably gonna do that tomorrow i've made or updated my planner this is what my planner has been looking like over the past few days haven't done that 
embarrassing but I just haven't had the time to decorate this last week was so hectic and I'm not surprised if this week is gonna be hectic as well we are on Tuesday and I need to do this tomorrow so yeah I'm gonna stop here because it's getting late my boyfriend and I are actually planning to start demons later so gotta squeeze in a bit of fun activities you know so hopefully we enjoy it and I'll just talk to you guys tomorrow I'm sick of daydreaming I just want the feeling of you in my bed I'm down at this waistline right below your waistline want you by my head I'm down at all this FaceTime me some long time baby you're always running in my mind I'm sick of daydreaming I just want the feeling of you in my bed I'm alone, gave you my hoodie just so you can smell my cologne Don't like all this distance, I want you close, I'm missing your existence Hey guys, I look really off because I don't have any makeup on All I've done so far this morning is do work so stress is on my face But I just finished my assignment, I need to scan it all because it's all handwritten and submit it so i have a lot to scan my task for this assignment was to create a journal where i just document design thoughts and design thinking processes and stuff so this is a mind map that i had to do so this is just my thought process in terms of eco design and sustainability within fashion design and additionally within my journal we had to do a bunch of other tasks so i'll just do a quick flip through so we had to draw like three items every day for 14 days so i had to draw a whole heap of items and write descriptions about it it was a long task and then additionally i had to write my top five objects that i enjoyed or what i like about these top five objects and then i had to design a bag for my partner and guess use her feedback or use their feedback to evaluate what can be improved on or what could be done differently in a different design or if the design is already good so this is the bag that i designed i'm not that good at drawing but she liked the design so that's good so that is this activity and then the next activity is to design an astronaut chair and i actually spent the weekend doing this so the design chair is actually over here, over there. I designed it, but I just took photos and then printed that out and then wrote my evaluation or reflection on the different parts of my design and what I can improve on. Honestly, this whole assignment was very time consuming and very tiring and stressful to do. Now I just need to scan everything and I guess sort them out into a PDF which I don't know how to do that but I'll figure it out and then I need to do a reference list. I want you close to missing your existence. Fill my head with some clouds, baby. Today's Thursday and I have two classes today. I have a class called Design Principles that starts at 9 a.m. and finishes at 12 p.m. And then I have a class at 5 p.m. and it ends at 8 p.m. and that's Design Thinking and Process. In between those classes, I'm probably gonna try and work on my assignment that is involving coding, but we'll see how the day goes. <laughs> Right now, I'm just trying to code 
some parts of my website before my class later on so i want to just start on this because this one is due on sunday so i need to get started on this all right let me know when you guys are done Yeah, I went out earlier today because I needed to pick up my boyfriend's PC parts because he got a PC and I was the one that ordered it. So we needed to pick it up at the store and I went with my parents. So yeah, they were with me and then we ate lunch. We ate Vietnamese food and then we picked up my siblings from school. And that whole time and period just took a while. So it is 5 p.m. now and I straight away got started on working on my code. I have a mock-up of how I want it to be structured and how I want it to look like. But it's a lot harder to code than you think and it's a lot harder to you know make everything exactly the same when you're not really familiar with how to code and what exactly to do so i'm just trying my best to make it look almost similar and just get at least the gist of it because that's all that i really want i'm hoping to get at least one page done you know when in, in a website there's like a home page and about page and then maybe like a products page and then a contact us page or a facts page yeah in our assignment that's true on Sunday we only need to submit a website that has two pages so I'm just trying my best to finish the home page first during the weekend I'm just gonna focus on doing the about page I feel like the about page might be easier because there's less stuff that you need for that part so I'm just hoping to get this done because I am stressed out so right now this is all my CSS codes if you're not really familiar with coding this is just all the codes that make the aesthetic or look of the website so all the colors and the structure of where the image is positioned and everything so this is all of that and then this is the html code with all of the information so the image itself the writing the logos and all of that it's a bit confusing and i get it like when i look at this my brain literally is just fried but yeah this is what my code or my website looks like it's not very responsive which means that it's not very good in terms of if you were to view this on mobile but apparently we don't need to really know that yet until probably when we work on it later on for our final submission but yeah for now it's just a prototype and all we need is a desktop as you can see it's not very good in terms of like the placement or like just how it's reacting to the sizing of the website but i don't know how to do that so for now i'm just gonna leave it as it is because when i put it like this as a desktop view the structure is pretty good you know i like how it looks i'm doing decent and i'm pretty proud of what i've done so far this is what it's supposed to look like but it's close enough you know i'm just gonna keep working and talk to you guys later oh by the way the colors i will change it later on i just needed to change the colors to something more apparent to make it more obvious if i'm making a mistake or not Can't fight it, you know all the ways I like it. My north, you my south, you my east, you my west. When you see me at my worst, try to make me feel my best. This love we just can't deny it. You know all the ways I like it. You holding me tangled up in the 
sheets holding you, holding me, easy love. Wednesday night, just hanging out, us two. Just got home and you turn on some blues. Then tell me you're hungry. I go order Chinese. Wednesday night it's easy love with you. Okay, okay, okay. Have your sunshine mixed with a little hurricane. White hot angel with a dead that was brave. Hey guys, so I am back home now. I was actually out because my cousin Angel wanted to buy some stuff for her dog because she's getting a dog soon. And I just wanted to come along and hang out a bit and chill because I managed to finish my assignment this morning. I actually woke up and finished the rest of the assignment that I needed to do. I did the rest of the coding and everything and now I just need to submit it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I did today. I will just quickly show you what my website looks like. So this is what my code looks like entirely and also this page and there's a lot of words and stuff and it does look a bit complicated my css is so long as you can see and that's only like two pages so imagine if i were to do the rest of the website with three extra pages crazy so yeah that is what i basically did for the past few days and what i was working on trust me it was a lot of stress but this is what it looks like now so this is what the home page looks like i feel so narcissistic or whatever because my face is on it but then again it is a website for myself so this is my website and then also here are the videos and instagram these links are actually functional so i can click on this and then it'll take me to my channel and also for the instagram posts i could click on this instagram post and it'll take me to when i posted this also added like brands i've worked with and then linked their websites and stuff i also have like a footer here with like a copyright symbol and just all my other social medias here then i have an about page which is a second page that i did again i feel a bit narcissistic but it is about me so what can you do i just did a basic about section over here and i also needed to put a reference list of all the sources that i used for my website but yeah that's pretty much all i've done the works and the facts and contact parts aren't really functional at the moment but yeah i'm pretty proud of what i've done i hope that it's good enough i know that i still have a bit of flaws here and there but i'm really proud that i managed to finish this because i've been stressing out about my whole code and me not knowing how to actually code stuff so i'm pretty happy that i managed to finish it but yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here because I feel like I have enough footage and I feel like it might be too long. And I think tomorrow on Sunday, I'm not really going to do much because I need a break. So I'm just going to end it here on Saturday. But before I say my goodbyes, I just wanted to quickly talk about this video sponsor. Yeah, this video is kindly sponsored by Zyro. And I thought that this was a very fitting sponsor because it really relates to what I was doing this entire week which was making a website a few days in this week i was so stressed making a website if you saw the amount of coding i was doing and remembering and trying to trial and error how to make different functions work on the website it's a lot of work and not a lot of people have the time to learn how to code and i know for me it's a little difficult to learn how to code there are other options on making websites and you don't really need to know how to code to make websites because you can use websites like zyro i've said website so many times but it is what it is. Zyro is basically a website that allows you to build your own websites or even an online store online through a very simple and easy process without you having to know much or you don't really have to have a lot of like knowledge or qualifications or anything like that to be able to make a website. Basically on Zyro, there are a bunch of templates. I think there's over like a hundred templates that you can use within the website and you can just customize them to your own liking so it fits the visuals that you want to perceive for your own business or whatever website that you want to make it all up to you how you want to customize it there's a lot of customization options Zyro actually makes it so easy to make a website because it's extremely fast to build with the many tools that it has all you basically need to do I've actually played around with it is you just 
click and drag multiple elements and features such as text and images within a template and it also includes like other features like AI business tools and all of that and that's what I think is one of the greatest things about this website it pretty much has all the technical parts done for you you don't really need to know how to make it work with all like the formulas and coding and all of that you basically just organize all your images and text how you want to present it and also you don't even need to know how to design or have any knowledge on like layout because there's so many templates out there you could just rely and use the templates that they provide they pretty much update that like every week so you get templates like all the time and when it comes to Zyro it just allows you to manage everything in one place it just manages all of your products and sellings and all of that on that website hey guys it's chloe and i'm just currently editing this video but i also just wanted to point out that zyro is one of the most affordable options right now in the market when it comes to making businesses you gotta make some investments and purchases in order for your brand and website to stand out with zyro they provide a lot of different plans for different types of websites that you want to create so whether it's a portfolio website an e-commerce website which is like a shop or just a general business website they have different plans on their website for you to choose from so they are very affordable in my opinion and in general investments are very important in order for you to you know stand out from the rest of your competitors out there online in the world Zyro provides a very good deal with all the elements that they provide and you don't have to overpay for something that you don't need you know they have everything that you need on their website and you don't have to spend a lot of money on it so yeah just wanted to point that out it does seem quite technical but all in all you don't have to work so hard and it's very easy to use so that's why Zyro is a very good and affordable option when I was playing around with the app and I was creating my own website I was actually trying to imitate the website that I was making through code I was able to create something that was like almost identical in just like 20 minutes whilst my code it took me like a whole week or even longer to create it because I needed to go through the process of learning the different codes and everything and just knowing what elements go into what like it's a lot of work but with Zyro I didn't even take that long to create a website and that is so convenient it's 2020 I feel like everything that's convenient is so nice to us humans and I appreciate it so that's why I really like this website and I'm so happy to be sponsored by this company okay I think I've been rambling too much but all in all I think that this is a really great website if you ever decide on creating a website for your own social media or even if you decide to create your own store I know there's a lot of people in the journal community who are building their own brands and creating their own stickers and all of that and I feel like having a tool like Zyro will be really helpful when you build your own store and you can sell items to other people and all of that so I really like Zyro and I really recommend it if you guys are interested in checking out Zyro I will leave all of their links down below in the description I have a special link down there as well and I also have a discount if you use the code keynote you can get 30% off any of the plans that are on Zyro try out the website builder and see what you can make out of the little elements and templates that they have so yeah if you want to check out Zyro I will leave all of the links down below in the description. Use the code Keynote if you want 30% off any of the plans on their website. That's pretty much all for this sponsorship. So yeah, thank you so much to Zyro for collaborating with me and sponsoring this video. And thank you to you guys for watching this video entirely. Without you guys, I wouldn't get opportunities like this. And I'm just forever grateful that I get to share these types of memories and opportunities with you guys as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Zyro thank you to you guys and that's pretty much all for this video other than that i'll just talk to you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good day please take care of yourselves and i'll just see you later bye bye